Does platelet-rich plasma injections, also known as PRP, actually work for Achilles tendonitis? PRP is widely promoted as a cutting-edge treatment that can relieve pain, improve function, but what does the latest research really say? Today we're diving into a comprehensive meta-analysis to separate fact from fiction and help you understand if PRP is worth considering. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. I'm a sports medicine physician based in the San Francisco Bay Area and I've helped many patients navigate orthobiologic and regenerative medicine treatments like platelet-rich plasma injections. In this video, we'll break down the newest high-quality evidence on PRP for Achilles tendinopathy, reviewing how it impacts pain and function compared with placebo and other therapies. Achilles tendinopathy, often called Achilles tendinitis, is a common condition that causes pain, stiffness, and swelling around the Achilles tendon. And this is that thick band of tissue connecting your calf muscles to your heel bone. It typically develops from overuse or repetitive stress, especially in runners, athletes, or anyone who increases their physical activity too quickly. This condition can make walking, running, or even standing painful, significantly affecting daily activities and quality of life. Treating Achilles tendinopathy is challenging because it can become chronic and resistant to simple fixes. Traditional treatments usually start with rest, ice, and anti-inflammatory medications. Physical therapy with tendon loading exercises is the gold standard for promoting healing and improving function. Sometimes corticosteroid injections are used to reduce inflammation, but they carry serious risks, including weakening of the tendon and increasing the chance of rupture. And so because of these limitations, Patients, many patients and clinicians look for newer treatment options that might speed recovery and improve conditions. Platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, is one of the newer treatments gaining attention for tendon injuries like Achilles tendinopathy. PRP is made by drawing a small amount of your own blood and spinning it in a centrifuge to concentrate the platelets, and these are cells that play a key role in healing. This platelet-rich concentrate also contains growth factors and proteins thought to stimulate tissue repair, reduce inflammation, and promote regeneration. The idea behind PRP is appealing, using your body's own healing cells to jumpstart recovery without drugs or surgery. And PRP has been studied extensively and has shown tremendous benefit in other tendon conditions, and these include elbow tendinopathy, commonly known as tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, as well as rotator cuff tendinopathy and rotator cuff tears. Because of these successes, PRP has become popular among athletes and clinicians seeking regenerative medicine options. However, despite this promise, the scientific evidence supporting PRP's effectiveness for Achilles tendon problems remains unclear, and so this makes it essential to look carefully at the research before embracing it as a standard treatment. A recent comprehensive meta-analysis included six studies with a total of 422 patients comparing PRP injections against placebo treatments like saline or sham injections, as well as other active interventions such as high-volume injections and stromal vascular fraction therapy. The main outcomes assessed were pain relief by the VAS pain scale and functional improvement assessed using the VISA-A score. These outcomes were evaluated at multiple time points, three months, six months, and one year after treatment, providing a thorough picture of PRP's effectiveness over time. The meta-analysis found that PRP did not provide any significant improvement in either pain or function for patients with Achilles tendinopathy compared to placebo. Specifically, there was no meaningful difference in visa a functional scores at three months, six months, or even one year after treatment. Similarly, pain levels measured by the VAS pain score showed no significant reduction at three months post-injection. Additionally, when compared to other treatments like high-volume injections, PRP showed similar outcomes offering no clear advantage 
advantage. These results challenge the widespread belief that PRP is an effective treatment for Achilles tendonitis. So given the lack of demonstrated benefit in improving pain or function combined with the high costs associated with PRP treatment, the current evidence does not support recommending PRP for Achilles tendinopathy in clinical practice. While PRP has gained popularity as a regenerative medicine option, patients and clinicians should be cautious about its use until more definitive evidence emerges. In my clinical practice, I have seen mixed results with PRP. Some patients respond really well to their Achilles tendon, while others continue to have persistent symptoms. However, there's now a newer treatment that's changing how we approach Achilles tendon problems. It involves using ultrasound to guide a tiny needle that repeatedly fenestrates the damaged tendon tissue. This process creates small controlled injuries that trigger your body's natural healing response by increasing blood flow and inflammation where the tendon is stuck in a chronic, non-healing state. Studies show that this ultrasound-guided percutaneous tenotomy, or also known as a needle treatment, is safe and effective for reducing pain and improving function, especially for tendons that haven't responded to more conservative approaches. For Achilles tendinopathy, patients report significant pain relief and better movement after this procedure, with many feeling satisfied even in the long term. There's also early evidence that combining this ultrasound-guided percutaneous tenotomy treatment with PRP injections might boost results even more. But more research is needed to be sure. Overall, this needle-based approach offers an exciting new option for people struggling with stubborn tendon issues like Achilles tendinopathy. On top of that, the results of ultrasound-guided needle tenotomy tend to be even better when combined with physical therapy or a simple home-based rehabilitation program for the Achilles tendon. If you're interested in an easy-to-follow rehab routine that you can do at home to support your recovery and get back to your activities faster, check out my next video where I'll walk you through step-by-step -step exercises designed specifically for the Achilles tendon.